Hi, in this video I will be sharing a couple of lessons I learned during my first year of university. Let's get started. Help everyone without expecting anything in return. Now Biomed can be an extremely competitive degree and we all know that because everyone's trying to compete better than their peers to secure a place in a clinical program. And there's always so many rumours about people trying to sabotage and ruin others' work, etc. But that's kind of weird though, because when you're in such a difficult course, you want to be working with each other, you want to be considering your peers as your allies, and I guess the exam is a common enemy that you are all trying to defeat. So that's why it's really important to share your knowledge, whether it be through past papers, its answers, or even just sharing notes in general. You really don't want to create an atmosphere where it's hard to ask for help. Be open-minded. So I would highly recommend to explore different career pathways and not go into the narrow mindset that medicine is the only thing there or clinical programs are the only thing there. Because even if you are interested in healthcare, there are so many other options out there that are still healthcare related, even though it's not like a clinical program itself. So what I personally did was I joined this club called Chiasma and they had quite an emphasis on entrepreneurship and so I became slightly interested in that, like science and business. Another area I was interested in or did more research in was medicinal chemistry. So in Chem 110 there was a lecturer who did her PhD in medicinal chemistry and I went and talked to her, asked what the career options were like, what her job looked like and that just made me gain a lot more knowledge as to what other pathways there are. I also went to many networking events and became curious about the different industries there and also learned a bit more about myself and where my interests lie. So there is literally nothing you could lose by doing this. Um, if anything, you're just going to be gaining more knowledge and making really valuable connections which could possibly help you in the future. Join clubs. So everyone says that it's hard to make friends in uni and the best way is to like sit next to someone random every single lecture during the first week. That's a bit hard too though, not going to lie. Um, and it's a bit awkward as well. So I would say that the best way is either through labs or, as I'm going to talk about now, joining clubs. So two major clubs that I joined last year was Chiasma, as I mentioned previously, and also WIN, Women in Health Network. Both the clubs had these mentoring programs. So Chiasma had a program where we were connected to someone in the um, science industry, in the STEM industry, and we did fortnightly meetings with them um, just to know more about someone who was working as a professional person in a science industry. So I was able to get an extreme amount of support from someone who was working in the healthcare industry as a project manager. She had also worked for the COVID response, which was really cool. Through that, I was able to gain a couple more other perspectives that really helped me in interviews for the MMI as well. And also personal and professional development. In Women in Health Networks, I was also part of a mentoring program where I was connected to an older student. So I was connected to a second year medical student. Um, and she provided me a lot of advice for Biomed in terms of course specific advice, which was really great. In addition, the director, I just went up and talked to her because I knew she was continuing her degree in biomedical sciences. And then she gave me entire insight into research and her perspective into research, because that was also something I was considering when I was in first year. And that was really useful as well. And so I learned about not only just healthcare settings, but also academia and research settings. And so basically by joining clubs, one, you will be able to meet like-minded people, and two, you are able to meet people who are really willing to support you in your journey as you go through biomed or as you go through uni in general. Enjoy the process. So this is kind of a cliche one, there's that quote that's like, it's not the destination but the journey that counts. But it's really true though, because Biomed, as I said, lots of people end up dreading and hating Biomed because one, it's a competitive course, etc. But also because they get stuck in that competitive mindset. And it is actually quite hard not to get stuck in that mindset because everyone around you is stressing and everything. But 
you got to learn to enjoy what you're doing. If you get stuck in that competitive mindset, you're going to dread the entire year. You're going to be just learning for the sake of learning for the exam and then forgetting it the next second. Um, but that's not what you want to do. I must say the content in uni is actually much more interesting than what we learned in high school because we touch on a lot of subjects and topics that were never touched on in high school. And so finding a genuine interest in that will help you so much more to enjoy what you are learning. Like for me, I think in semester 2, BiSci 106 covered drug development and as I said, I was interested in medicinal chemistry. So drug development and antibiotics, that was something that I was so interested in that I just def like absolutely love that course. Um, so being able to connect with the information and based on your personal interests, try to do that rather than just learn for the sake of doing the test, doing the exam, getting the year over and done with. Form a good support system around you. So it's so important to have to form a good group of friends or people around you that will be accountability partners, that you can go to when you're stressed for comfort, that you can study with, that you can just enjoy the year with. Talk to med students as well because there are a lot of people out there who are willing to give you feedback and to help you with the process of biomed. Have the courage to just go up to them and ask if you need help. But yeah, that's basically a couple of lessons I learned in first year. It's just a brief summary, um, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how you could enjoy first year a bit more because I know a lot of people come out of it saying that it was the worst year of their life. If you enjoyed the content, then let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's any other video you want me to make. But yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one.